Welcome back to more X4 Foundations. Thanks for joining me. I am here in Riptide Raker's space to start out this episode, Avarice 1. Uh, we are going to do this mission. Let's see if I can find it here. <clears throat> this mission for this Talati character that's a part of the, the story missions with the Riptide Rakers. And I don't know if... The Vidgar Syndicate also kind of plays into this as well somehow. Um, but we've been mostly dealing with the Riptide Rakers. You know, last <clears throat> mission we had to deliver some hull parts. Uh, we negotiated a deal, um, I believe, at one of these stations. Uh, the scrap processing factory next to the shipyard. <clears throat> and... Our mission was to deliver 400 whole parts uh, and make a profit. <clears throat> and we got them pretty cheap. We got the whole parts pretty cheap. Now, what's interesting in my game that I've noticed, and I think I mentioned this a couple episodes back, is that um, there's not really much of a demand for whole parts in the universe. Um, <clears throat> you know, there are here for stations that are being built, but your typical locations that demand that have a pretty big demand for hull parts don't really have much of a demand. So, um, you know, usually these shipyards have a pretty big demand for hull parts and they just don't. So, <clears throat> that's going to be, that's a little worrious, worrisome for me, especially given the fact that I'm constructing a hull parts factory um, here in Argon Prime. And um, it makes me wonder just how profitable the station is going to be going forward. <clears throat> I've uh, the station is almost up and running. We are producing hull parts right now. I've I uh, constructed some miners to to deliver resources, um, but the station has almost been completed. Uh, also got some drones here because it's really it's really important to have cargo drones on your station for large traders and stuff who want to trade. Then went and got some food rations and medical supplies to build up the workforce. That'll help increase the efficiency of the um, of each of the wares that you produce. So, like energy cells, we get an additional output here and it tells you what the workforce, uh, what benefit you get from having <clears throat> the workforce based upon the size of it at the, at the, you know, at the time. So, that's um, going pretty good for us. We're kind of at an impasse right now with construction, though. We um, are in the middle of building one of the Argon habitats, and um, we kind of ran short of energy cells in our storage compartment. So I've, I do have some freighters that are going to be coming by to drop off energy cells to the build storage because we can't complete this uh, quest this covert operations quest until we get this station fully functional which means we need a dock area and the dock area just so happens to be the last module that I have in you know in line to be built on the station so um, that's not having the resources to build this habitat is kind of keeping us from completing that task so um, I think that's pretty much all that's been going on. I did, you know, I did do some off video or away from video um, work, mostly um, renaming my ships, so I kind of have an idea of what, you know, what they are, where they are, and what they're doing, and um, let's see. I also got my my Sin Destroyer that we just got from the Terran, completing the Yaki Terran uh, missions. Uh, I've got that outfitted and <clears throat> I have it linked up with the, f the rest of the fleet with the rest of my destroyers and auxiliary ships to uh, you know, patrol Argon Prime here. Um, I mean, really there's no reason necessarily to patrol Argon Prime. I don't really think we're going to be coming across enemies or anything or any kind of threat in this sector, but I decided to go ahead and have them patrol just because um, hopefully it'll 
give experience to our our pilots and also experience to um, our crew members as well so that's really the only reason I'm giving them a mission or a task to do uh, let's see what else <clears throat> um, yeah I think that's pretty much it I got my Kestrel Vanguard going around laying down satellites in various oops did not mean to do that one <clears throat> let's collect that and then try that over again <clears throat> um let's see so yeah let's get rocking and rolling here <clears throat> with this uh, story mission with the Riptide Rakers So this Talati guy that we've been dealing with, kind of, um, he's kind of serving, kind of acting like a, a tutorial type deal where um, he shows you how to trade and all that kind of stuff, and it's pretty basic things. Yes, I understand. You cannot afford Protectian for the next cycle, but that's really not my fault, and I have to look out for my company. Your company needs hard-working people like us to sell that Protection too. Why does he sound like Is a split any guy? You'd be willing to make <laughs> anything we could negotiate for that Protection delivery. You cannot just leave us to the tide. There is just nothing I can do for you. Good luck with that tide, and good profits in the future. Good luck with that tide. <laughs> Greetings. I am here to help you secure funds for your Protection payment, for a price, of course. If you have wares to sell at the minimum market price, we will buy everything. We don't have anything for you, Vulture. Besides, selling out wouldn't cover the cost. I see. Maybe we can try and secure your funds for future favors. We will be back. Friend. All right, let's find out about this Brantley North River guy. <clears throat> the greatest businessman in tidal space. Also the greatest Once douche. Once we are big enough, we will be able to negotiate deals with such people on a regular basis. Can I pay in advance? That would be illegal. We cannot take payments from you. You see, the syndicate forbids foreign aid to encourage a free and competitive market. <laughs> Free market capitalism. Funny how it's linked to pirates. That's kind of interesting. <laughs> it's like piracy and free market capitalism go hand in hand. Which is why you need government to enforce regulations and laws. We will have to talk to the syndicate about a loan. That is what they are all about. I know about one of their communication beacons in the area. You need to get close to establish communications. Be quick about it. All right. Corral Kami. We also took over Cinnamon's uh, ship here. Autopilot engaged. Autopilot oh, come on, man. Disengaged. <laughs> Autopilot gets all. gets a lot of swords when it sees an asteroid. Can't handle it. Greetings, fellow denizens and voyagers. Oh, not now! This is Tidebreak. The station built into an asteroid, so many. Wonderful. You found it. Let us establish communications. Hello? Who is this? Hello, Miss Syndicate Representative. We would like to apply for a loan. 
This concerns a station which cannot afford Protection for the next season. That's too late now. The sun's about to go ballistic. I don't know who you guys are, or where you got wind of this beacon, but you would better forget about it before I get to you. This is the moment where you should engage your travel drive and start running for your lives. Go away! But if they do not give us a loan, how are we supposed to... Quickly, come back to the station and let us talk to the manager and sort something out. <clears throat> This guy's picking up energy cells to take back to our new factory. Processing factory. Docking granted. to welcome you aboard. All right. Cinnamon, I want you to go take refuge because the sun is about to go haywire. I can wait. Danger. Hazardous region detected. Oh, crap. Here it comes in all its glory. All that's left to do is pick up the shards. Hold on. Yeah, stay there. That came quick. Wait a minute. <clears throat> we would like to remind visitors that dropping litter anywhere other than an approved recycling station. This is horrible. The invisible hand ought to ensure supply. How is this supposed to be a free and competitive market if demand is not being met? We have to break the North River monopoly. That's the we problem. We need a researcher to investigate this Protection. Do you happen to know any scientists? Uh, of course I do. He's a... a boron. Nice pun. All you need to do is get me a sample of this enigmatic substance, and I will begin my research immediately. I am confident that there is a possibility of synthesizing the Protection, once I have had a look at it here in my laboratory. Excellent. Now, Protection is exorbitantly expensive. 
But I suppose we will not need an entire unit to conduct your research. It might be our best course of action to approach the CEO of North River Company directly. Uh, we might be sure about that? buy a small sample from him. If we can find him, that is. It is well known that he occasionally likes to flaunt his enormous wealth. A fellow trader just spotted him taking his most prized possession out for a pleasure cruise. I have sent you the coordinates of his last known location. Start from there. Okay. What are you Auto doing? Autopilot. Engaged. <laughs> Autopilot acting derpy again. Autopilot. Disengaged. Empty space. Autopilot. Engaged. Autopilot. Disengaged. Oh, found him. Astrid. Autopilot. Engaged. Yes? What is it you want? I sure hope you have a good reason for approaching me. I am quite busy, you see. Let's get a look at your ship. Oh, that looks cool. Does it not have engines? Small quantity won't get you far. If you want to protect yourself from the tide, you can't afford more, eh? Oh well, since you seem to be new around here, I'll allow it. Once. To get you hooked? Am I not charitable? I will even cut you a special deal. How about that? Here you go. I hope you leave as a satisfied customer. Oh, and by the way, don't for one second think that you can use this sample to engineer a competing product. It won't work. North River products are just too ingenious. Run along now. I have much more important matters to attend to. I wonder if being obnoxious is his deliberate business strategy. Huh, <laughs> I told you he was a douche. No matter. It will make it all the more enjoyable when we pull the rug from under the North River Company. I mean, I could just go ahead and kill him. You want to take it back to the headquarters yourself? I mean, I've got a huge go battle ahead. fleet. I think my Sin Destroyer could take him on. Autopilot. You know, I Disengage. love the assassination game. Autopilot. Engaged. Alright, where are we going to now? Ah yes, back to the HQ. Deliver that to Bozo Ta. <clears throat> Entering Avarice Four. Autopilot disengaged.
Autopilot engaged. Jump gate, windfall. Entering system, windfall. Entering Windfall 1 Union Summit. Entering system, 18 billion. Jump gate, grand exchange. Nothing to sell. Oh, let's see. Entering system. Grand Exchange. Super Highway, Grand Exchange. One. Autopilot disengaged. Autopilot engaged. I wonder what would have happened if I just opened fire on that guy. Entering Grand Exchange 1. Why are you going that way? Auto Autopilot. Engage. Autopilot. Disengage. Autopilot. Engage. Autopilot, disengage, IDES, Vanguard.
Headquarters. Docking granted. JP Morgan's knife. Isn't that the Talati ship? Yeah, he's here. Look at that. He's got some damage. Some hull damage. Successfully docked. It's an honor to have you aboard. Aha! Uh -huh. Hello there! Ah, excellent! Pass me the Protection sample so that we may begin. Thank you kindly. I have added the Protection research to our agenda and listed the required secondary materials. Oh boy. Feel free to initiate the research at any time convenient to yourself. Oh, we're gonna do it. I really hope we can find a way to make the Protection more affordable for everyone in Avarice. How's it going? Dalbusta doesn't care. <laughs> okay. Let's see. What do we need? Plasma conductors. That's all we need. 500 plasma conductors. Do you know that standard issue spacesuits come fitted with an engine boost? No need to trundle along the major snail's pace. Alright, let's see. Where's some free traders? Transfer wares. Buy all the things. Transfer wares. That should do it. Okay. Promote best crew member. Um, Can I help? Piloting seminar. Upgrade.
Oh, we have a paint, couple of paint mods. That's cool. Wow. All right, let's attach you to this station. some more what wow <laughs> literally buy the whole station Building the luxury dock, which I think is the last module to be built. Oh yeah, that loaded us up. Very good. <clears throat> Two hours until resources are depleted. Very good. As long as our production per hour is over our consumption, we're good.
awaiting orders. Nice. These guys are almost here. Can I help? Here you go. Man, your prices are terrible. I'll take that though. Good luck out there. Baldrick. There's delivery number one. Baldrick. Good news! Construction of your station in Argon Space is just completed. Yes. Now, you just have to sell your wares cheaper than the competition. That's going to be hard because there ain't much demand. Research. Good choice. I will begin right away. Oh, uh, let's see. What's the other mission? Set price, whole parts, one sixty seven. Okay. I don't know if that'll attract any uh, buyers, but you never know. The market analysis report we received from the Terran operatives turned out to be accurate. 
We're already registering an increase in sales, and the Federation will be forced to adjust their prices downwards if they want to stay competitive. Long live the free market, eh? Well done. But yeah, but do you realize how much it cost me to build that station? Oh, they're not nice. I am getting some people coming to buy. Our intelligence officers have concluded their preparations. Agent, I require you to join us for the final briefing. Oh. <clears throat> the final briefing. Oh, and hopefully it's fortune. Oh, no, that can't be. Oh, that's just the way to get there. And just passing through. Requesting permission to dock. Docking permission granted. Autopilot engaged. Autopilot disengaged. Huh. Auto save. Uh. Entering system, Nobilia's fortune. Entering system, Ias missed. Oh, we got a lot of people coming to buy. Nice. Entering system. Pontifex's claim. Entering Since the mission's system. over, I'm going to go back to auto That way, hopefully, we make a little more money. Oh, I can have more drones. Um... Entering system. True sight. I like defense drones, they're good. Awaiting orders. Entering system. Second contact. Bellis, Van 
Vanguard. What is that? Assistant! I have concluded my research on the Protection substrate. There are a few things that, I am sad to say, I cannot quite wrap my fence around. But I would rather we discuss my findings in person. I was just there! When you have got the time. Well, I'm doing finishing up this Terran thing first. I have to dock, eh? Docking not possible. Oh no. Entering system, Argon Prime. Autopilot engaged. My fleet has a difficult time staying in formation. <laughs> uh, you guys don't look like a professional force at all. Alright, Cinnamon. Um, you can go there and wait. Entering system. Second contact. Also gonna purchase some medium freighters for our new station. Go with the Mercury, it has or do we go with the Mercury? The other ship's probably gonna be faster. Auto pilot disengaged. I think we go with the Mercury. What is Delilah doing on this ship? That's what I want to know. Successfully docked. Excellent Who's work that guy? so far, Agent. First things first, take this. It is a forged Sandwell archive pass. You'll need it to access the planetary database once you're inside the server room. Now, how you will gain entry to that room in the first place is another matter. 
a matter for which I have asked our associate here to join us. The scale plate packed fleet will provide us with a diversion. My fleets will stage a raid against the station. When they inevitably refuse to surrender, we will launch a full scale attack. Yes, Antigone security will have their hands full. Once the fighting starts, you should be able to gain entry easily. All of their marines should be otherwise engaged. One more thing. When your subordinate here approaches the station, we cannot simply turn a blind eye to that ship. It would be a shame if we blow our cover and our little ruse falls apart just because we did not take action. In order to really sell this, I have ordered my fleet to shoot down anything trying to pass. They are unaware of our little arrangement, so do not expect any mercy. Good. Then it's agreed. Agent, set up in close proximity to the station and wait for the diversion to commence. Good luck, gentlemen. serious. Working with the scale plate pack still doesn't sit right with me. Let me get in touch with some people. I will see if I can quietly establish contact with the Antigone Republic, just in case. You keep going with this. I just want to make sure we keep all our options open. Wow, the station already has almost a million it's made. That's good to go. Autopilot engaged. Entering system, the void.
Wow. There's a lot of fleets here. Invisible Hand. Minotaur Raiders. Wow, that must be the scale plate pack fleet. Entering system. Antigone Memorial. Engaged. Dow? Okay. I gotta let them know we're in position. Maintain cover, everybody, until we're in close range. Oh, this ought to be interesting. That's a massive pirate fleet. And here come the scale plate pack ships. That is it. Drop cover. Whoa! This is a scale plate packed raid. Disengage defenses and allow us entry to your station. Light them up. Fire! They're attacking! That's our cue! Now or never! Go! The relay ship. Requesting immediate backup. I still want to get caught in crossfire. Argon Wharf. Out of docking range. Autopilot. Disengaged. Wow. Up the pressure. Return fire. Ah, the lag. Lag. It seems the Marines really did clear out. Look for the console. Get moving, though. Our associates won't be able to sustain an attack this intense for much longer. Every Marine to their designated position. Oh, yeah. Take your last joint. 
Ah, uh, get out! Our I think I got a fast ship. Some red flags after all. Guards are on their way to intercept us. Better floor it. Suffice to say, they really mustn't catch us now. Just got back that you ah! the station. Hopefully you pick oh. up enough data to really cripple the Argon Federation. We will sort the details out together. Meet me for the final debriefing. Bring whatever data you've gathered. I just kissed face with an asteroid. Hold on there, partner. Before you hand over everything that we just lifted from those servers, the two of us need to sit down together too. There are a few things I want to run by you, in person. Oh, there's a big decision we're going to have to make. This will decide the fate of our galaxy and the future of our game. That is a lot of enemies. Man, oh man, that's a huge scale plate. Man, I wanna... capture those guys. Entering system, the void. Tell him. Entering system. Second contact. Oh, the, the uh, holy order of the Pontifex is uh, conducting some offensive. Activities. E. Entering system. True sight. Entering system, holy vision. Entering system, Pontifex's claim. Entering system, Ias Mists. Oh, that paddle is still going on. Jeez. Entering system. Nobilia's fortune.
entering system. Grand exchange. Disengaged. Docking granted. <clears throat> I could have just teleported here. <laughs> Keep forgetting about that. Successfully docked. to have you aboard. Let's talk to uh, there Bozo. You are. I am afraid the results of my research have turned out to be inconclusive. This so-called Protection is a condensate substance unlike anything else I have ever encountered. This sample is highly unstable and incredibly potent. I am afraid that I just do not have the instruments to adequately examine it further. It certainly will not be possible to synthesize the condensate with any equipment we currently have at our disposal. Disappointing as it is for me to have to say, I doubt that anyone else in the network is in possession of the technology to do so either. How very odd. North River is a remarkably small company that seems to have shot up out of nowhere roughly 11 years ago. If what you say is true, then they could not possibly have had the means to develop this themselves. The and syndicate. frankly, while Brantley is undoubtedly an ambitious businessman, he certainly does not strike me as the scientific type. Oh dear, speaking of whom, I have just received a communications uh -oh. request from Bradley North River. Opening comms channel. So, how's it going? Have you cracked it yet? Of course you haven't. As if I, corporate mastermind inventor, would risk giving away my secrets. That petty peddler only really got in contact to gloat. Perhaps you can use the occasion to extract some information. His ego is his weakness. Try to bait him into giving something away. Well, of course I can be proud of my accomplishments. I built this company from the ground up. I came from nothing. Hard work and dedication. That's all it takes. And now our North River product keeps an entire system of people safe. Ah, it's not the equipment. It's the minds that make all the difference. You and your fish friend just cannot match my scientific acumen. Strip it all away from me, shut down my company, and through sheer dedication and wit, I would still rise to the top again. This is clearly not working. He is too preoccupied with <laughs> praising himself to actually betray anything of substance. I have ways. I know. From what we have gathered, he is immensely proud of his ship. Just go with that. It might lead somewhere. A race, huh? Uh huh. Think about it. All right. I don't know why you would want to challenge me, seeing as the Astrid is literally the fastest ship out there. But sure, let's go for it. And you know what? I'll go one better. You've been trying so pathetically to analyze the Protectian. So if you win, I will just tell you what you want to know. But you won't. 
Bring your fastest ship. I am looking forward to this. He is right, you know. As much as it pains me to admit it. Looking at his ship's specifications, I predict a 0.0003% chance of you emerging from this race as the victor. And these odds already factor in the chance of a spontaneous, unforeseen organ failure on his part. <laughs> Considering what is at stake here, no one would think worse of you if you were to bend the rules a little in your Get a mod? Head. Engine mod? Thanks to my extensive research, you now have the capability to teleport between your own ships. If executed correctly, you will not actually have to match his speed at all. <laughs> I think I know where you are going with this, Bozo. And yes, it is indeed possible. Bradley has already transmitted the coordinates for the racetrack. Yes, two ships. One in which you will initiate the race, and the other uh, hidden away close to the nice. finish line in which you will end it. Oh, what a deliciously devious ploy. Although we now have a plan, you still need to keep up appearances. Do not show up in a cheap piece of junk in which you could not possibly win. With your help, I could research ship engine modifications. There you go. A tricked out engine would help with keeping up appearances. Hello there. Alright, let's talk to Dell. How's it going? Covert operations. While you were getting here, I reviewed all our options. This is a political minefield we've got ourselves involved in here, and I felt we needed a complete picture. We could hand over the intelligence to the Terran High Command. After all, we were contracted by them. Alternatively, we could turn to the Antigone Republic, let them know what has happened, and return the intel lifted from their servers as evidence. Finally, I could destroy the information we pulled off those servers. We back out and pretend this whole mess never happened. Okay, what if we side with the Protectorate? We adhere to the initial plan. You meet with Delilah and turn over all the intel to her. The Terran Protectorate gains their leverage and we get paid. From what I've gathered, they'll use the data to sow distrust between the Argonne Federation and the Antigone Republic. Oh. The manufactured tension would lead to a complete cessation of trade between the two factions, but the Terran Protectorate won't use this intelligence to escalate the situation. The Terrans' first priority is still the Xenon, so this leverage is more like long-term insurance to keep their rivals weak. <clears throat> Siding with the Federation. We contact Saman Red, the Antigone Republic official. He is already involved in investigating the Protectorate, so all we need to do is hand over the evidence of Terran involvement. The Terran Protectorate won't be happy, but I think I can twist this so that they won't trace the leak back to us. The Antigone Republic and the Argonne Federation will remain close allies. But, should Saman go public with this, I can't imagine the Argonne Federation taking such Terran interference lightly. There's a very good chance those tensions will escalate into open war. Some would argue it's the right thing to do, but we wouldn't get paid for our work, and the ensuing open conflict would be unpredictable and result in many lost lives. Well, if we destroy the evidence, it'll probably just maintain peace. It's easy. The Terrans don't know for certain that we managed to access the servers, just that we docked at the station. All we have to do is tell them we didn't get anything from the servers, and quietly erase all the data we did get our hands on. Sure, we won't get paid, and the Terrans will probably just hire someone else to do their dirty work, but we come out clean. More importantly, the relations between factions won't change. For better or for worse, business as usual. Alright, well, I'm not going to make a decision. I will leave a cliffhanger, and when I come back the next episode, we'll make the decision, and then we'll go and investigate that cruise liner ship that that douchebag guy has and um i prefer just to kill him i mean that'd be the my first option but i don't know if that's an option yet because i haven't done that mission um but we'll continue on with both of these missions in the next episode but thanks for watching and did a blinking light ever catch your eye while Boza, you what are you doing your own business in an asteroid field the Taladi traders that pass by our headquarters simply cannot stop talking about how to best find these crystals and how much they manage to sell them for.
Bozo, I'm trying to end the episode here, pal. What are you doing? <laughs> but until next time, take care and see you later.